Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Here I have today in my shop 2005 Toyota Sienna CE and she has approximately 205,000 miles on the odometer. She is equipped with this V6 engine and she's here today because the burning smell the burning smell of the oil is getting in the cabin and is unbearable anymore for the owners. And the owners, they knew that this is coming. I'm servicing this vehicle for them for a couple of years. And as you can guess, it's the oil from valve cover gaskets leaking. And as it leaks, it touches the hot exhaust manifolds and as the oil touches that, it starts evaporating from it and make it a horrible smell. It gets in the cabin and it's finally time to deal with it. I was warning the owners, but due to the budget, they couldn't deal with it. They said, hey, we will drive with it until it will start smelling and unfortunately then we will deal with the repair so let me show you what's happening and how bad it is here you have look on that 3mzf e v6 engine you are looking on that front valve cover the front bank this job is unfortunately for them costly time-wise the labor because the other valve cover is buried down there so if it was just for this one that will be very fast the problem is all of this stuff you see here going under the intake manifold everything has to be replaced but back to our leak here is a heat shield which is covering the front exhaust manifold and look at those amounts of the oil hitting it now maybe this is the best angle with the light so this valve cover gasket was leaking a lot but it's actually from different place than you will be normally expecting Normally it's the gasket which runs around the edge of the valve cover but in our case it's different and many of you experts already see it. Do you see the number two ignition coil? Do you see how shiny it is around that coil? Not really the four and not really the six. The surface here it's relatively dry but as we can go to the left look how shiny this area is and that's because there's a huge leak and not actually from the outer gasket but from the spar plug tube seal let's go pull it and look at it together i expected that it will be leaking bad because they said hey it came to the point we smell it in the cabin so we will pay for the repair what can we do budget is low but it has to be done i expect it will be bad but not so bad so here as we said kind of dry dry and completely wet right here so it's not only from this area but it's from there and i already pulled that number two and i stopped I was not going to film this, but now I'm doing it for you because this is a, I will say, severe case of the leakage and I definitely want to show it to you. So if I will pull the number six, look at this coil, yeah? I hope you can see it. The coil is nice, shiny and dry. There's no problem. With it. I have changed the lighting so the camera can deal with it. I will pull the four. <clears throat> I 
look at it. This is completely dry. There's nothing, no oil on this ignition coil. It's totally fine. And now let's go to look finally on that number two, the first one, which I normally take first. This one was loose. I wish you can hear. Do you see it? It's dripping oil from inside. The entire ignition coil was submerged in the burnt engine oil. And that's actually leaking even more than that failed gasket which goes around the valve cover. There is a seal in the valve cover which is completely failed and that causes that huge oil leak. But it's not only the one here, it's also the gaskets which are running around the valve cover. So I will have to uh, drain, uh, take it apart, clean it before installing new spar plugs and new valve cover gaskets and spar plug tube seals. Now let's go together and try to look inside of these spar plug tubes. So, if I'm correct, I'm trying to use the monitor. If I'm correct, you can perfectly see dry tube. There's no oil in it. And there is a nicely sitting spar plug. The baby is there, happy. Now let's look in the four. This was the number six cylinder, number four. Again, the same. The coil came out clean, dry. And this is how it should be. Now let's go on that too. And if you look inside, and I'm pretty sure you can see it, that spar plug, it's submerged in that oil. There's no, aha, uh -huh, look at it, maybe better, yeah. She is, that, that spar plug, it is, I will say halfway, completely submerged. I'm surprised it was running correctly and there were no misfires on number two cylinder. Can you see it? I think so. So, where is the tube seal which failed? Well, it's right here on the top. It's built here inside of this valve cover and it's right on the top here. And this one is nice and dry, dry. And this is the source of that leakage. There was additional leakage of the oil coming down on these hot exhaust manifolds, which are underneath this heat shield. So that was the source of the burning oil smell. Here you can see the engine after I have removed that valve cover. And you see the area where that gasket is running around. It's made of rubber. And that's sealing and keeping the oil inside. When the rubber hardens from the heat and the age, that's when it starts seeping out and dripping and getting on that exhaust manifold. Here was the seal. It's like an O-ring. I will show it to you. And this one failed and that's why that spark plug is still sitting in the oil. And this had to be done ASAP. Here you can see the valve cover. Here are the bolts which were holding that valve cover down. There will be always in the comments someone saying, Ah, oh, this is all not needed. All you just do, tighten these bolts and it will stop leaking. Don't pay these people for this repair. But you know that's nonsense and you won't be listening to it. I will show you. Here is the gasket. That should be brand new, soft and rubbery. Uh, can I grab it? Now look, this gasket lost. This gasket lost its elasticity, became brittle and plastic-like. Because of that, 
it cannot work anymore and trust me my friend you can keep torquing these bolts which are around here holding the valve cover down you can keep yanking at them as hard as you want and that won't help you it will not stop and it really needs to be changed now let's look on those tube seals gasket you still see this one was the worst one leaking like crazy this will be guys oh did you hear that it became brittle as plastic and that's when it's brand new this is completely rubbery and soft look at that so how this can hold any oil well you can see it cannot I have to carefully pull it out because these tabs are over it you have to carefully first bend them up and I will be replacing all three of those two so it's the gasket here plus the tube seal gaskets don't ever try to skip replacing those I hope I have explained it enough and anybody including newbies understands why there could be a smell of burning oil in the cabin and this is one of the reasons and also what the valve cover gasket job means, how it's complicated on V6 engine in Toyota Sienna. If you find this video helpful, if you liked it, please give a thumb up and be subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.